Hey there, Susan King here, and today I'm going to do a Dutch pour, and I have a, I think it's a 12 by 12 canvas, and I have a whole pile of colors here that I, um, that are left over from previous pours. And I'm trying to decide what to pick for today. I'm going to have white on my background. So I think I'm going to go blue. Or blues and maybe some greens. So what I'm going to do is pick this color here. I think it's a Prussian blue. Prussian blue. Okay, that's one. Um, this here purple I'm going to pick. It's a deep uh, deep violet. It's actually um, a mixture I made myself with red and blue. So this color here, it's like a turquoise. And this is an aqua green. I'm going to try that one. I'm going to use a little bit of black just not very much, just a little bit. Um, that's four colors. Uh, one more blue, I think. I got a couple of light colors, a couple of dark. I think I'm going to go for this blue. I think it is a ultramarine. I'm not sure of the colors because it's a whole because they're all leftovers and I never marked them. So I'm gonna go with those colors for now. I think just for a little bit of different contrast, I am gonna add a little bit of this. It's um like a yellow orange or I'm not sure exactly. Anyway, I'm gonna put a little bit of that in. That's it. So I'll be back to start it. Um, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back and I am going to apply my white. I mixed uh, some of the colors with Flow Troll and water and some were just uh, paint and water. Depending on the the paint that I used. If it's a better quality paint, I, would, I just used water. So I'm just going to apply some of the white. Pop any bubbles in the white. Yep, I'm popping some bubbles. Okay, that's it for that. Now, where to add my colors? I think I'm going to go not quite in the middle, not, not too far on the side, just maybe right here. So just pouring a little bit. This is the deep violet. Maybe 
turquoise. I think this is the Prussian blue, yeah. Okay, now this blue, the light blue, the turquoise. Oh, I already did that. Oh, darn. Oh, darn. I meant to get this one here, the aqua green. Touch more of that. Just a little bit of black now. Mm. I think I'm going to put a little bit of white here. Now I'm going to add um, some of the white paint around the edges. And a little bit extra on this side. Because <clears throat> this is where I'm going to start blowing it from. And let's just keep my fingers crossed that I it's enough. Okay, I'll have to turn the sound off for this again. See the cells pop it up already here. Okay.
Okay, so now, that's awesome. I'm going to attempt to blow to feather out some of the ends. Uh, not very good at this, so I might have to get a straw that doesn't work. at this part. What I'm going to try to do is I have a little tiny blower and I've added, <laughs> concocted my own little end on it um, to make it so, so it's narrow instead of just round. This is just something that I got off a, a baking set for baking cookies and stuff and putting icing on so I just kind of taped it around. Hope it works. I think I better stop right there. I really like it. It's subtle, it's not overpowering, but it's pretty. I love the middle here, the purples and the blues. I can't even, uh, I guess I didn't put enough of this color in because I can't even see it anywhere. <laughs> but it might be a touch over here. It might change as it dries. There is a touch right there. That's it. It's pretty neat. I will bring it in for a bit of a close-up. Okay, um, I will show you at the end of the video of the dried results. So I um, hope you enjoyed my video. If you uh, like my videos, please subscribe um, and I'll see you in my next one. I'll be back with the dry results. Bye for now. Hello, my painting's dry. I really like it. It's kind of subtle. There's not a whole lot of colors in it. Seem to get washed away here a little bit, but I like this part right here. So I will uh, bring you in for a close up. See? Really loving this technique. It's beautiful. 
Anyway, I have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.